Hello Vinyl community! So Europe has been under this giant heat wave for the last three weeks so this was not a very good time to make videos um, unless uh, I like to present myself uh, in front of a camera completely sweating all the time although it's still pretty hot here to be honest and uh, it's just uh, not as bad as it was a week ago so um, this did not stop me anyway from listening to great music maybe on the contrary I think uh, hot summer weather usually inspires me to listen to uh, to music that uh, is somehow fitting or seems to be fitting for me um, so let's have a look um, yeah I uh, the first band is actually pretty well known these days I think they're quite popular a band from Texas called Kruangbin. Um, so this is a very laid-back, uh, atmospheric, uh, psychedelic rock, slightly inspired by uh, psych music from Thailand, so they say. Um, yeah, this isn't. This is their debut album called "The Universe Smiles Upon You." So this is an example of the perfect summer psychedelia. You can't go wrong with that record. So you have some great songs here like uh, Zionsville or August 12th. Um, yeah, and um, really a good choice, I think. This was their first album, came out in uh, 2015. Um, their second album, Con Todo El Mundo, came out not long ago, I think last year, I guess. Um, and it's, uh, it's really a worthy uh, continuation of this whole musical idea they have. I think the second album is uh, developing things a little further and um, taking uh, new ideas and inspirations from different genres. Um, so um, there is a sort of an evolution from their first to their second album, I would say. Yet it is still uh, the, the the sound you would expect from them. So uh, this is uh, Kruangbin's second album. Another great record. Yeah, indeed, I probably like the second album better than the first. Um, the first is great, you can't go wrong with that. Um, but um, there are all kind of uh, nice, sophisticated ideas here. Um, so um, I hope this band makes another album soon, because uh, I think they're on the roll. Now this one, uh, while we are talking about uh, Hot Summer, this is of course a true classic of uh, summer uh, summer music, so to speak, Tom Tom Club. So those are the Talking Heads, Renegades, uh, Tina Weymouth and Chris Franz. This is, as I said, this is the ultimate summer album. Um, I mean, uh, I've been listening to it now after quite a while and uh, I must say this is fantastic music. I mean, this is really uh, such a... Um, it's such a it's such a beautiful mixture of certain naughtiness on one hand and certain innocence uh, on the other. So this is so, so very beautifully put together. Um, you have Adrian Bellew playing guitar here. So the album came out in 1981, long time ago, and yet uh, it sounds still very appealing. Um, I have only good things to say about this record, um, including this. Uh, Quite insane uh, James uh, Ritzy cover design. Um, yeah, so this is stuff of legends actually. So the rest of the day I've been actually listening to German music. Um, since we are in the middle of this completely crazy German summer here. Um, starting with uh, Force Majeure by Tangerine Dream. Now uh, this is a very interesting album. Um, probably uh, marking a certain certain chapter in this band's development so um, it's sort of a prog rock album but uh, with uh, yeah some funk funky elements I would say um, there's still a lot of the expected electronic musing so this is a very interesting album from 1979 and um, probably one of my favorite records by Tangerine Dream now uh, 
let's go to a really exciting record which is Globetrotter by Guru Guru. Um, Guru Guru of course is um, well um, another uh, German uh, psychedelic rock band, uh, but uh, this record is very, very groovy. Actually, as as far as the sound goes and uh, the, the 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 songs, I see it much closer to stuff like um, well, Parliament, funkadelic, and stuff like that. So it's a bit in this direction. Of course, great drumming by. Uh, by Manu Neumeyer and uh, the record came out on Brain in 1977 I think yes 1977 so this is uh, an original pressing because I don't think this has ever been reissued on, on vinyl I don't think so um, quite a psychedelic uh, cover and uh, yeah very very groovy music uh, very uh, intriguing in parts uh, it's good fun to listen to this. And uh, yeah, La Düsseldorf. I think this, had been, this has been shown a lot on VC. I can take out the sleeve. Um, yeah, this is a beautiful record that uh, has all kind of unique and personal character, I think. Uh, obviously, it's done by guys from the German city of Düsseldorf and it's about the city of Düsseldorf to a certain uh, extent. I mean I, lo I love, uh, I mean this is mostly an instrumental album but there are all kind of uh, uh, lyrical snippets on it and the record starts with the words uh, Scharfer Wind, Teures Plaster which are, um, well Scharfer Wind means like a sharp wind um, like uh, sort of a moody, not so good weather, and Torres Plasta is a colloquialism that means uh, uh, cities uh, or, or quarters in cities that are known for their very expensive rents. So it starts sort of with a rather moody, bitter remark. So um, yeah, there are a lot of field recording samples uh, woven into the music. Um, um, all in all, very sweet album, very very tongue in the cheek and uh, always a wonderful listen. I really like uh, this one. This came out in 1976. And here a sort of a gritty photo of the guys. Um, and uh, yeah, this was a good listen. And finally, um, and I think I've shown this one already on VC and I think a lot of other people showed this one on VC, of course, uh, uh, the famous album by Manuel Göttingen. Um, beautiful uh, electronic meditation um, recorded at the beginning of the 80s. Uh, almost lost to the public, but uh, as an as a afterthought released a few years later. So now we have it. So this is a very revolutionary uh, electronic uh, kind of techno type of record that uh, basically runs through the whole album without interruption based on one musical pattern. But uh, I guess you all know this record, so why am I explaining it in such a detail? This is actually rather a classic. Yeah, I have some more records here that I have listened to. Prior to that, and I just still haven't put them uh, into on the shelf. So uh, let's let's show them. First of all, this is the debut album by the um, Algerian Rai singer Rashid Taha, called Babes. Um, he recorded this in 1990. Um, yeah, Rai music is a bit rare on vinyl. Uh, mostly, uh, this is. You find it mostly on CDs or, or tapes. It's a great record. I really like this one. I mean, it has, it has a very powerful beats and it's uh, it's sort of a big city record uh, with all kind of uh, uh, themes uh, relating to Rashid Taha's life and his environment and the world he's living in or he was living living back in the day. He probably doesn't anymore. Um, and um, so yeah, it's a very lovely album, uh, very groovy and um, it's a good example for this new Rai 
movement uh, that was started in the late 80s and early 90s, uh, uh, mixing uh, pop music and, uh, and, and funk music with this uh, rather traditional Algerian uh, style. So it's a good record. Yeah, let's check out these two babies here. Um, this is The Spice of Life by Kazumi Watanabe. This came out in 1987, I think, and uh, yeah, and uh, this is ba basically a fusion power trio with uh, Kazumi Watanabe on guitar and Jeff Berlin on bass and Bill Bruford on drums. And uh, as you can imagine, this is flawlessly played and uh, quite a quite an impressive record. Uh, but it's not only about endless quick chops all the time. Uh, there are all kind of uh, slow, interesting tunes on it, and um, all in all, a very interesting record and a very pleasant listen. So Kazumi Watanabe followed this in 1988 with um, The Spice of Life 2, and um, this is uh, uh, the same lineup um, with uh, Jeff Berlin on bass and Bill Bruford on drums, but enhanced by Peter Vatessi. A uh, Scottish keyboarder that you probably know from his days or his tenure with uh, Jethro Tau. So this is a quartet here. Um, I, in some parts, I even like it better. It's a great sounding record. Again, sort of a fusion slash rock uh, sound. Uh, very sophisticated and, um, of course, uh, some amazing bass playing by Jeff Berlin and cool uh, guitar solos by Kazumi Watanabe. Um, yeah, great stuff. You probably, I don't know if you, uh, I don't know if you are into Yellow Magic Orchestra, but when they did their world tour in the late 70s and early 80s and were touring around the world a lot and playing in America, they were not performing as a trio, but as a sextet actually. And um, so there's always this crazy guy in the background that plays all these uh, insane uh, guitar licks all the time with long hair. And uh, um, that's Kazumi Watanabe, actually. <laughs> now, like 10 years later, he, he looked completely different and it's almost uh, it's very unrecognizable the way he looked in the late 80s to the late 70s. But it's the same guy. Yeah, he cut his hair short. So, uh, this record is uh, the beautiful release by the label Finders Keepers, an uh, album I'm listening a lot these days. It's quite beautiful. And it's the album by Gugush. Gugush is an Iranian singer um, that was quite famous in the 70s. Um, in a sense, this is a kind of a compilation, but um, the source material comes from all kind of uh, 7 inches and 12 inches. and uh, so um, it's a compilation, but in a sense, it's a lot of the stuff is kind of put on a record, not for the first time, but at least for the first time in this way, in this quality and uh, in this region here. So this is a wonderful record with a, with a great Iranian singer, but the sound is very, uh, it's not, it's, it's of course sort of a, funky Iranian pop music of the 70s, but at the same time it has some some great uh, psychedelic quality to it in, in many parts and it's very intriguing. Of course, uh, like many people, I first got crazy into this song called Talak, because um, um, which uh, I think you can easily find it on YouTube, check it out, because the song nicks completely a riff by... Uh, um, well, Andrew Lloyd Webber from the opening of Jesus Christ Superstar. You remember that, maybe. My mind is clearer now. So they completely nick it, but embed it into this uh, sort of a Persian composition with strings. And so it's, it's very wonderfully done. Very cheeky also. So this is a great record. Um, I've been listening to this a lot. And uh, finally, um, another production by Finders Keepers, and that's a um, double album, a compilation called Pong Grenades, which, uh, to stay in the same vein, is a compilation of 60s to 70s to 80s uh, Persian or Iranian, Iranian music. 
this is with a focus on uh, psychedelic music mostly. So um, many of you probably know that there was a quite a vibrant sort of psych funk music scene in the Middle East uh, in the 70s, uh, which was spanning from the Turkey and through Lebanon and Iran, and they all had their great um, bands that are mostly unknown here in uh, in our culture. So I really love productions like that. Um, and uh, Finders Keepers has a lot of these wonderful records where they uh, put this together, clean it up and um, give me the chance to listen to this kind of music and to discover it for myself. So uh, this is pretty brilliant. I mean, you have all kind of musicians here, male, female, uh, well, usually um, um, performances that are sort of very original or very, uh, there's always some kind of a psychedelic twist on the music. So great stuff. Uh, I can really uh, recommend this uh, double album if you, if you, Similarly, like me, uh, are kind of a researcher of uh, music from different cultures and different countries and so on and so on and so on. And before I start to blather and um, whatever. So I hope this was interesting and um, yeah, um, I will make another video soon, I guess. Um, I'm listening a lot to music now and um, so uh, yeah, have a nice day and... Till next time.